you go one, two, three. And after a, after a one, two, three, you can go one, two, and three. different cultures together, showing the different traditions and folklores of dance from ballet to modern to jazz to all the different ethnic backgrounds and just the fact that we can come together, work together. What I really love is the opportunity to learn different types of dance that I probably would never even think to experience. Like I learned Croatian and Bulgarian and I never would have even thought to want to do those types of dances. In the intensive, they spend all the time learning to do different kinds of dances and the kids that are given the chance, some of them are in the finale doing those dances, which shows that if you're given the chance and your heart is in dance, you can almost do anything. You know, um, I have to tell you, I wish that when I was 11 or 12, I had a program that I can participate in and be part of something like this. As a young dancer, you want to enrich your ability of dance and that's what then this gift to these young talents. But then you take that and then you put it in a very professional setting. I think that's very important. If you show people how you dance in your heart, then they will know who you are. What I learned is how to like not be afraid of things and to just be brave and I like how dance this gives children a chance to just dance. I started dancing this when I was about 14. I did it again with Discover Dance and then I did it again with Iwajo. Chris is like my second father. Brought us in from different backgrounds and how to a valuable lesson about dance and togetherness and understanding. I feel that dancing is a way of speaking and it's so creative how he uses dance as speech. Para mí es 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 lindo compartir con con todos los chicos de Dance This y este en esta segunda oportunidad ha sido maravilloso encontrarnos con nuestros hermanos del tap. that we are dancing is a classical dance. It's called Savan Machai. It's about Hanuman and um, a mermaid, created from long time ago. It's probably from the Angkor time, maybe back in the 14th century. Classical Kathak is a storytelling dance from Northern India. You use facial features, hand movements and your bells. And then there's a lot of like classical kathak, which is footwork and handwork and turning. Red Natyam is basically a prayer in the praise of the goddesses and the gods of Southern India. And we use different body parts to express and create characters that were in stories of the gods. We're a Korean cultural center where we not only learn um, dance but also music and it's just a place where the community can really come and learn about Korean culture. Chai drill team is really military based. All our drills are learned from the officers and our costumes are warriors, the Chinese, and it re represents that. Well, 
Well, you can't necessarily put into words. We all have difficulty because it is derived from the Filipino culture, but we do choreograph our own movements. We're more of a performance team than a drill team. In Africa, when you are happy, you dance. When you're sad, you dance. It actually brings your spirit up and happiness in dance because it always brings joy in people's faces. This piece is about happiness and, and joy in dancing. The thing I really like about working with Sonia is she will accept nothing less than your best and I really like her as a teacher because she really cares about the students she reaches out to. She'll like make sure you're giving your best and really dancing from your heart and really offering what you have to give. Like she'll let um, your personality come out and your own voice come out. Daniel Cruz is a visionary. He sees things that nobody else will see and things that we think will be kind of blah. He really has faith in and he believes in his dancers from the bottom to the top. So he really pushes us to see what he sees and he keeps us on our toes at all times. He's really like good with musicality, which was something I wasn't good at until I started working with him. And so he really pushes you to hear every little sound in the music. You bring your knowledge and your gifts and you share them with the world or you share them with Seattle so that way they can now take that and share with the next generation. It's, it's, it's a wonderful opportunity to be part of a program such as Dance This. I think it changes the lives of the people that are involved and also I feel that I'm, I'm more educated around the different diversity of dance and art forms and has opened me up to many, many different types of dance and genres of art. I love to see the different cultures and the different traditional things that they do. I had no clue what Cambodian dancing would look like before Dance List, and I saw it and I thought it was really cool. Just having the opportunity to experience dance at this level um, on a big stage that I would never have the opportunity to do. It's really interesting to see how different dance groups work together within their dance groups. My favorite part about Dance List would have to definitely be the finale because it brings together diverse um, dances and you learn new things and it's so much fun. You just see everybody get loose and happy. I feel that Dance This really embraces all the different cultures and shows all these different people from all different styles but they're all doing one style of dance. 